Welcome to a new episode of TTG Conversations 5 Questions video series. I'm Karen Yu, Group Editor of TTG Asia Media. In this episode, we will look at how Bayan Tree Group is reactivating sporting events to revive tourism for the destinations it operates in. And taking us through this is Ravi Chandran, Executive Vice President of Banyan Tree Holdings and CEO of Laguna Resorts and Hotels. Ravi has been with Banyan Tree Holdings since 2005. He assumed the role of CEO of Laguna Resorts and Hotels in August 2021 and concurrently holds the position of Managing Director of Laguna Phuket. Happy to have you on the show, Ravi. Hi. 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 How are things, Karen? Things are fine. Everything is happening really fast now in Singapore. Someone hit the fast forward button without warning us. Yeah, it's great. It's a, things are kind of getting back to normal here as well, so it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so exactly we'll discuss that. So I've got five questions for you, Robbie, and here's the first. As travel freedom returns, Laguna Phuket is getting back into sporting action very quickly. You have just announced a number of sporting events for this year, starting with the Singa Laguna Phuket Golf Open in May. Now, what other sporting events are on your calendar for 2022? And are sporting events also returning to the other Laguna Integrated Resorts in Asia this year? Yeah, okay. Like you said, we've got the Singa Golf Open, um, part of the All Asia Tour happening now. And that concludes on Sunday. Then in two weeks' time, we've got the Laguna Phuket Marathon, which we haven't had for the last two years. Um, and we currently, of yesterday, we have 6,500 runners registered. Um, and we're hoping to end about half, 7,500. Uh, in November, we have our Laguna Phuket Triathlon. We have another golf event in August, Shiv Kapoor and Jeev Singh from India coming to play. Um, then we also have other things like the Esther Bunny Women's Run, which take place in September, um, which we're expecting about 3,000 participants. And we also have a kids triathlon coming up. So quite a few events over the next four to six months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But most of them are happening in Phuket, not um, elsewhere in, in Asia. Well, these, the, the, these are all happening in Laguna Phuket. Mm -hmm. uh, elsewhere in Asia, at the moment, we're still planning and, uh, and, and looking forward to a timescale. Um, Laguna Vietnam, we've got some golf events lined up there. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. And how do you expect the vibe uh, to be at these sporting events? You know, because, you know, health and wellness uh, safety concerns um, are still uh, in existence and will they impact participation as well as the range of festivities that you can arrange on the sidelines? Um, I guess two or three months ago, that was more of an issue, um, Karen. Um, but now with test and go being stopped uh, in Thailand and no longer needing PCR tests 72 hours before and tests when you're here, just proof of vaccination, two vaccinations. Uh, things have eased off pretty much uh, a lot over the last three to four weeks. People are still, you know, anxious and we have safe distancing and we, we have we, we have the protocols, but things are loosening up more and more, uh, not to the extent of Europe yet, but there are more crowds of people and events taking place and people are more comfortable uh, post-COVID uh, for the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With a growing number of travellers seeking healthy pursuits post-lockdown, will Laguna Resorts and Hotels step up programming on the physical wellness front beyond those sporting events? Yeah, okay, so that's a, a good question and it sort of leads me into our Banyan Tree Hotel have just um, launched a new brand called Banyan Tree Bear, which is a wellness brand. Mm -hmm. And in our Banyan Tree Phuket, we launched it in March, uh, where we've taken 30, 28 villas out just for this VAIR program, because what we've noticed during COVID and post COVID, lots of our customers want a well being experience, tailor made. Some people have problems with sleeping, some have dietary requirements, some just want to exercise, some want to do yoga. So we've got this new well being um, concept called Banyan Tree VAIR, and that's attracting a lot of, lot of requests. So that's good. Uh, and we are aware of the fact people now who travel want a well-being experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much business do sporting events contribute to your properties and the destinations you operate in? And are they effective uh, for tourism revival? Oh, absolutely. Um, 
even even during uh, even before COVID and during COVID, we 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 used events as a prelude prelude to mass travel because the events put the destination on the map, and it also shows to the outside world Phuket or Thailand is functioning with these events. So in terms of occupancy points, it depends on each event, but I've averaged it out. It's between 15 to 20 occupancy points it boosts uh, oh. a particular event. So some events 20%, some 15, but between 15 to 20% points, which is good um, occupancy, especially if you can get more footfall in the area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It has been observed that sporting events often uh, inspire participation and a stronger fitness mindset in the local community. What other valuable legacies do you see sporting events living behind? Yeah, I, 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 we've also opened up walking paths and running tracks. And what we've noticed, all ages now like to exercise. And these events like showcase people, you know, even things like walking, aerobics, um, cycling has all become a fashion here i mean you'd be amazed how I many even the older people um ladies uh, grandparents you see them out on their bicycles in the morning and in the evening after six and i guess with all these events that sort of uh complements what the local community are doing people are much more active now mm -hmm. looking for exercise and well-being as something to do no longer just coming to lay on a beach on the Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's all the questions I have for you, Ravi. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Past and future episodes of TTG Conversations, five questions can be found on the TTG YouTube channel. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>